Masters Racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brentford versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And Brentford have it back now. The initial 11 for Wolves. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. Cross fired over, still alive, and eventually goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Brentford doing well to regain possession. Now, options are plenty. Sarabia. Inside he goes. Semedo. Return to Sarabia. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And there's the delivery. Could still be dangerous. Lemina was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Vitali Janelt. Well, spot on with that challenge. As you can see, Wolves has completely controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get their due reward. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. And back underway. 1-0 it is. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Ryan Ait Nuri. And with that, the first half draws to a close.